Hey guys, my favorite people here, and welcome to the bacteria mod. And this mod is you can make a colony of bacteria. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can even start. You will first need a sponge. It's a regular old sponge, like he's in the bath. But blocky. You need some bread. I have breads in here. And you will need a bucket of water, and that's that's gonna make your it's gonna make your must. And someone just messaged me, and that that's kind of annoying when people do that. And it goes like this: one, one, two, and there's your must. Now you'll need must in order to get your bacterium your bunch of bacteria so what you have to do is you need water at least this deep and you just sit there and wait he's been under one layer of water so let me spread this out and it does take quite a while to start doing but once it starts going it it'll go so anyways you break that and you'll get these the bunch of bacteria and this is the basis for your start this is the basis so what you do with the bunch of bacteria is you will need to craft one redstone torch and what you do with the torch is you put it in the middle and you go all the way around like this bunch of bacteria and I'll get your bacterium colony so with the bacterium colony you just place it let's say I want to place it here but it has to be activated with redstone so we're going to put a redstone torch I think that's what I would do but if you want them to be able to destroy what you do is you place them under a block like that but yeah, these will take a while to start to get going. But once they get going, they will be like destroying worlds. And sorry if I'm being sort of quiet, but my dad's asleep right now, so I, and I don't want to wake him up. So next we have. the replacer bacteria which is this one so in order to make this one we will need a piece of coal and I'm clicking off my screen right now because I want to check and make sure I'm giving right information and I don't want you there I want you there bacterium replacer so opposed to the bacterium colony this the replacer is like a massive replication block so if I were to place it there and I let's say put that on top of it and it, re and it re replicates whatever block is below it so we don't want it there we want it right there so it'll start replicating that block Let's see if this is yeah remember like I said they take a while to get going 
Or it could just be because of this ocean or something like that. Could be either one. But I told you what it does. So let's get some redstone and put it on top of here. Alright. Replicate, I command you. But it needs to be activated with redstone, so let's try this way. Put some red, do like this, then. I, I'm going to be honest with all of you, I am not good with redstone. So, the, I am better at crafting and building than I am at the redstone. Ugh. Excuse me. Ugh. And the last one is the bacteria jammer. And what that does is, if your bacteria wants to get out of hand, let's say... Let's say I have a, this bacterium colony over here, and it just starts spreading all over the place, and I want it to stop. Well, the bacteria jammer can do that. It'll jam, like, I'll give an example of it. Well, what it does, it automatically stops any and all bacteria from spreading. Oh, excuse me, again. I'm not, I'm not bored, I'm just... It's just very early for me. I just got out of bed, played a little bit of um, Pixelmon, started recording, and then, yeah. Anyways, <clears throat> so now we need to do this, and this is how you will make it. Like a little wand, sort of. Just imagine an arrowhead, and you'll always remember. So this right here. See, that's what it does. It just jammed all that bacteria. It, it instantly just deleted it. Now this, this isn't counted as a bacteria. This is just must. This isn't bacteria, so it won't jam this. So this will continue spreading until you break it. I don't understand why this isn't working. Let's see. Let's try this. I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna pause the video for like. 10 for 10 minutes or 5 minutes from me or something like that and I'm going to come back to see when this come when this regrows all right all right see you in a minute eh, see there we go there's also a po see what it does see this one in here is a bacterium splash potion which you can make but I don't know I can't really see the seem to find the recipe but I'll look it up right now Bacterium Splash Potion. But what it does is when you throw it, see the bacteria just went away. What it does is, let's say, throw it on. You see the bacteria will start eating away at it, at all of it. Alright, so the recipe for that is water bottle. It goes water bottle. Mm, hold on. Team splash potion. I guess water bottle, nether wart, then you need one of these. Oh, and the jammer block. So that what that does is it jams all the bacteria. See now it's spreading through the ocean. You can just see how destructive this is. So 
So anyone who owns a server, I really wouldn't recommend you using this because this is just destruction maximized. And it's not gonna stop. I mean I, I'm I'm using another one of my walls and this destruction won't stop. It's not unless I jam it. So anyways you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this. Um I'm sorry it was shorter than the others. But this it, this mod may not be new, but it's I I I think they abandoned it, but it's still really fun. Again, anyone who owns a server, just I would restrict use I would restrict um this for the players. This because it, it's hard to control and it's pretty destructive. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.